The question is, who are we helping here? Even Senator Luger, in a meeting with the White House, came out of it saying he's not quite sure who we're trying to help. There's a Al-Qaeda flag flying over the courthouse in Benghazi, in Libya, put there by the same group that we helped to uh, oust the Gaddafi regime. What is going on in America? On one hand, we have soldiers dying in Afghanistan fighting Al-Qaeda. On the other hand, we just helped a group of people take over Libya, and the Al-Qaeda flag is flying over their capital city headquarters. We learned today from CNN that the rebels and fighters aligned with them are looting weapons warehouses across Libya, where as many as 20,000 surface-to-air missiles had previously been kept under lock and key. Western officials perhaps the same geniuses who knowingly helped rebel elements with ties to al-Qaeda overthrow the Libya government, are now worried that the surface-to-air missiles and other weapons will get into the wrong hands. We went in because, we were told, a massacre could occur Yet civilian casualties in Libya mounted after the U.S. and NATO attacked. The world is being made a less safe place by this global war on terror that it called for international community to come together in, in, a, in a police action. It doesn't involve dropping bombs, but it's being smart and seeing you know, who is trying to uh, foment um, violence against masses of people. But, you know, you don't, you don't um, bomb Libya in the name of saving Libya. I was elected to end wars and not start them. Lawmakers are questioning how Obama could make this decision without their approval. Congressman Dennis Kucinich went as far as saying that Obama's unconstitutional move would appear on its face to be an impeachable offense.